All right, thousands of California Christians demanding to let us worship after the state banned singing in church. And now they're taking their church service to the beach. The man behind this new wave of worship joins us live next. Welcome back. Well, thousands of California Christians protesting Governor Gavin Newsom after he banned singing in church and put other restrictions on indoor venues. This past Sunday and Monday, over 5,000 Californians attended Let Us Worship protests on the beach organized by our next guest. Protest and worship. Here with more behind his movement, worship leader and founder of Hold the Line, Sean Foyt. Sean, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Um, the restrictions in California are like are happening in other states. Some churches are saying we're going to abide by them. We're going to stay inside. You've taken another route and said we're going to the beach uh, and we're going to worship. Talk to us about what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, it's not just beaches. You know, we're going under bridges and we're, we're meeting in fields and really anywhere we can gather and spread out and worship where we're finding those places. It's summertime in California and it's just been such an amazing movement that we've seen so much momentum on. Why is it, Sean, in your belief, is it that churches were deemed non-essential and, and things like singing banned when other activities, especially you look, you turn on your TVs and see protests and riots uh, are allowed to go on. Well, what is it about churches that you feel like has made them a target? Well, you know, it is a double standard. And I would say, you know, at best, it's it's hypocrisy. And at worst, it's it's bigotry. Um, you know, that there's a target on churches. Um, while, while we are seeing across America, thousands of people gather and protest in the streets and protest and our cities are burning. And yet we're not allowed to gather and worship and sing. I mean, it just, it's it's pretty outrageous. Sean, what's your message to other pastors? Because you founded Hold the Line uh, a, a, to get more pastors involved in the civic conversation, to be in, involved in politics. A lot of pastors are, 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 are shy away from that. What's, what's your message to religious leaders today? You know, I think it's time. We have to rise up. We need bold and courageous pastors that are not only going to stand on our constitutional rights to worship, but are they going to stand up against uh, the insanity of these these laws that are targeting the church. I mean, we really, and I think is what we're seeing across America. You know, we started a petition, let us worship. You know, you can go to lettusworship.us and, and sign our petition. Tens of thousands of Christians have signed it in, in, to take a stand in this hour. It turns out without the First Amendment, our, those very liberties we cherish uh, are, are, could vanish. Now, you're, I, I think I'm told you're headed to Portland soon. Uh, there's been a, yeah. it, well, Talk to us about that. It's been a hot spot uh, with, the, with the riots there. What's your mission uh, headed there? Yeah, I think, you know, we're looking at some of these cities where the narrative that Americans have seen has just been burning and destruction. And, you know, it, it's been pretty disheartening. And yet the Church of Portland... Uh, the church in Oregon, they want to rise up. They want to gather together. They want to change the, the narrative and flip the script on their city. So we're going to gather there in Waterfront Park on August 8th. Uh, and, and we're going to gather thousands of Christians. And it's going to be peaceful. It's going to be full of love. We're going to sing. We're going to worship. And we're hoping that we can even through our worship start to change the atmosphere over that city. If I'm correct, that's a Saturday, Sean. So I host the weekend show. You're going to have to come back on that Sunday and let us know how it goes. Uh, good <laughs> oh, luck. I will. We appreciate what you're doing. Great to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Glad to be with you. All right.